In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out how many units you need to sell in order to achieve a target after-tax profit. So here's the formula we're going to use. You're going to take the company's fixed costs. You're going to add to it the after-tax profit that the company wants to achieve divided by 1 minus the company's tax rate. You're going to take that entire numerator. You're going to divide it by the contribution margin per unit, which is also called the unit contribution margin. They mean the same thing. So this is going to tell us how many units this company needs to sell to achieve a target after-tax profit. Let's say the after-tax profit is 400 grand. This is gonna tell you, once you put in the numbers, it's gonna say, okay, you need to sell X number of units to get an after-tax profit of $400,000. I'm also gonna show you how to use this formula, which is related, but tells you what needs to be your sales revenue that, you, that you're gonna hit, like how many sales dollars do you need to have in order to reach the after-tax profit. So in each case, we're saying, how do we reach this after-tax profit? We can think about it as how many units do we need to sell? What does our sales revenue need to be? And I'm gonna show you how to apply both of these formulas with an example. So let's say we have a company called Vegetarian Lobsters, right? Not everybody eats meat, so we need to make sure there are vegetarian alternatives for everything. So we've got total fixed costs of $2 million for this company. The selling price per unit is $10,000. Wow, that's an expensive lobster. Uh, a variable cost per unit is $9,500. Okay, so we can immediately see that our contribution margin per unit our CM per unit is going to be $500. Okay, that's gonna be $500, hold that thought. Now the company's tax rate is 40%, and then the after-tax profit that they wanna achieve is $300,000. So now we're gonna basically plug these numbers into our formula, and we're gonna figure out how many units they need to sell in order to get an after-tax profit of $300,000. So let's plug into our formula here. We're gonna have $2 million of total fixed costs. And then we're gonna add the target profit is $300,000. But we're gonna divide that by one minus the tax rate. So divided by one minus 0 0.40, okay? So this here is gonna be $500,000. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. We're gonna divide this whole thing by the unit contribution margin or contribution margin per unit, it's $500. It's just 10,000 minus 9,500. That's where I got that. So we're gonna take 500, we're gonna put that in the denominator. So this here, 300,000 uh, divided by 0. 0.6 is, um, that's $500,000. So we're gonna have 2 million plus 500,000 is $2.5 million divided by 500. Okay, now what does that equal? 5,000, and here's what that means. We need to sell 5,000 of these lobsters. Okay, we need to sell 5,000 lobsters if the company is gonna have an after-tax profit of $300,000. Okay, so now what about, what does that mean for sales revenue? Well, an easy way is just to take the 5,000 and multiply it by 10,000, but I'm gonna show you how to apply the formula uh, just in case. So. We're basically gonna use a very similar, if you notice, these formulas are very similar. So let's take, basically, instead of in the denominator, instead of having contribution margin per unit, you have contribution margin ratio, which if you remember, contribution margin ratio is the contribution margin per unit, which is $500, divided by the selling price per unit, which is $10,000. So that's gonna equal 0 0.05. Now we're gonna have the same thing in the numerator, we have the fixed cost plus the 300,000 target after tax profit divided by uh, 0.6. Okay, so we're gonna have $2.55 million. And we're gonna divide that by 0 0.05, which again is the contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin uh, per unit divided by the selling price. And that's gonna equal $50 million. So let's summarize. For this, so the, if the goal is to have an after-tax profit of three hundred thousand dollars, this company needs to sell five thousand units in order to achieve that after-tax profit. Or another way of expressing it is, that instead of saying they need to sell five thousand units, they need to hit fifty million dollars in sales. If the company hits fifty million dollars in sales, then they'll achieve an after-tax profit of three hundred thousand dollars.